Hey guys, we had a couple of requests to do a video of the AG Russell Seamaster 2.0. This is a three and one quarter inch blade. It's a sheep's foot, flat ground. We have forward serrations here, so excellent for cutting rope. That's gonna be the main purpose of this blade, but we also have a plain edge, great for doing slicing and uh, easier to resharpen than the, than the serrations are. It is a M390 stainless steel. We made sure to get a su superb heat treatment on that one. That's gonna be a 60 to 61 Rockwell, nice hard steel. It's gonna hold its edge a long time. Great edge retention there. It is DLC coated, diamond light coating, as well as the Marlin spike. The second, second tool here is the Marlin spike. Folds out like that. It is two and three quarters inches long, so a nice long marlin spike. A marlin spike is a tool for sailors designed for uh, working with ropes. So if you got a knot, you kind of wiggle it in there and you pry out that loose line and you and you uh, untangle your knot. It's also useful for uh, splicing line when you when you need to weave two ropes together to make it into one. That's a line for splicing line. Um, and a variety of other useful applications. I, this would be a, this is a solid little pry bar type tool. It is locking. That was one of our customers' main requests for, uh, for Marlin spikes is to make it locking. So we have a titanium handle here. It has a frame lock on this side for the Marlin spike and a frame lock on the other side for the blade. Uh, relief cuts on either side. You can see that both the locks are mirrored either way. Uh, we have carbon fiber bolsters here. The handle is uh, four and one eighth inches long. We have no pocket clip, but it does have a uh, lanyard hole there. So you can stick a little rope, put it in your pocket. The blade and the marlin spike are sitting on phosphorus bronze uh, pivots there, or washers, I mean. The blade and marlin spike are both sitting on phosphorus bronze washers, so you can get a nice flick on there if you've uh, got a, no gloves on. If you do have gloves on, it is a long hole there, so you can uh, get a pretty good grab wherever you need to, up or down the blade, or uh, just pinch it either way. So easy to open. Both the uh, both locks are going to have a steel interface. Oops, other way. Steel interface between the blade and the lock, so it doesn't get sticky. Same on the Marlin spike. Sorry, everything's mirrored, so it's hard to show you which direction. There it is. You get that steel interface there between the the blade, or in this case, the tool and the lock. Whole thing is coming in at 3.1 ounces, uh, made with our friends in Maniago, Italy. Uh, this was our 2021 run. I don't think we'll do another run anytime soon, but we still got plenty left. Let's do a quick uh, size comparison. So this is the Seamaster. We also have uh, the Sea Scorpion. This is kind of our budget friendly knife. Um, full stainless steel instead of titanium. It's a lesser steel on the blade. It's a nice uh, budget steel 8 Sierra 13 MOV. It's got a shorter Marlin spike. The, the Seamaster's got a longer spike. Overall, the, the size is uh, a little bit longer than the Seamaster. And then we also have a Delica. It's a little bit shorter than, uh, than the Seamaster just a tiny bit, maybe like a quarter inch shorter. And then in size comparison to the bug out, it's just about exactly the same. Same length there. Almost identical. Maybe an eighth of an inch off. <laughs> so there you have it. That is gonna be the AG Russell Seamaster 2.0.